Good morning all. In today's class, we will learn an important concept in maths called addition. Addition is taking two or more numbers or things and adding them or putting them together. Hello children. Let us begin today's class with a number song. Watch and listen. One little froggy sitting on a log. One little froggy sitting on a log. One little froggy sitting on a log, and one more came along. How many are there all together? One, two. Two little froggies sitting on a log. Two little froggies sitting on a log. Two little froggies sitting on a log, and one more came along. How many are there all together? One, two, three. Three little froggies sitting on a log. Three little froggies sitting on a log. Three little froggies sitting on a log, and one more came along. How many are there all together? One, two, three, four. Four little froggies sitting on a log. Four little froggies sitting on a log. Four little froggies sitting on a log. They all jump up together. That was wonderful. Children, in the song when I sang, one more came along. You might have noticed that the number of froggies kept on increasing. Shall we have a look at it once more? At the beginning, there was only one frog sitting on the log. Then one more frog came along. How many frogs are there all together? Children, count from the beginning like this. One frog and one more frog makes one, two. Two frogs all together. There are two frogs all together. Now, two frogs are sitting on a log. Again, one more frog came along. Now, how many frogs are there all together? Do not forget to count from the beginning. Two frogs and one more frog makes one, two, three frogs all together. Now, there are three frogs sitting on the log. And again, one more frog came along. How many frogs are there all together? There are three frogs and one more frog which makes one, two, three, four. Four frogs all together. So children, when we say one more, we are actually adding one number or thing to an existing numbers or things. Now, what will happen when we combine two sets of numbers or things? The total number will be increased. To make it more clear, let us do an activity. Parents, please give your child some potatoes and tomatoes. Tell your child to take one from each group. Let your child put together these two in a plate and count together. Then ask your child to tell the total number. Repeat the exercise with adding more potatoes and tomatoes one by one. Next, arrange two groups of counters or items like pencils, crayons, blocks, cloth clips or any small things. Give your child these counters and ask him or her to count the total items in each group. 
Combine the two groups together and ask your child to tell the total number of items. Again, you can begin with one item from each group. Slowly increase by adding one more to the group. Now, let us do a worksheet regarding this. Children, this is the worksheet on addition. The question says, add the two sets of objects and draw the total number in the box. Let us see the first one. How many apples are here? One apple. And how many apples we have added here? One more apple. So we say, one apple and one more apple makes one, two. Two apples. So we have to draw two apples inside this box. See, I have drawn two apples inside this box. The next one. How many balloons are here? One. And how many more balloons we added? One, two. So we say one balloon and two more balloons makes one, two, three. Three balloons. So I have to draw here three balloons. One, two, three. Three balloons. The next one. How many flowers are here? One, two. Two flowers. And how many more flowers we added? One, two. Two flowers again. So what do we say? Two flowers and two more flowers makes one, two, three, four. Four flowers. So I have to draw four flowers inside this box. One, two, three, and four. The next one. How many slices of watermelons are here? One, two. Two slices of watermelon. And how many more slices of watermelon are here? One, two, three. So we say two slices of watermelon and three more slices of watermelon makes one, two, three, four, five. Five slices of watermelon I have to draw inside this box. One, two, three, four, and five. The next one. How many candles can you see? One, two, three. Three candles. And how many more candles have you added here? One, two, three. So how do we say? Three candles and three more candles makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Six candles, which I have to draw it here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Dear parents, please give your child these counters and keep practicing this concept at regular intervals. Children, that's all for today. See you in the next class. 
बाय